actually the world's biggest Android device. <laughs> the I Samsung. Detect, I detached. No, this is the this is this is the Surface. <laughs> the other, book. the other. This biggest. is this is the Surface Book, and I detached the uh, screen, so it is more a little bit more like Android. It's running. Um, uh, the launcher that I use, uh, which is Nova Launcher, maybe it doesn't like the, uh, the vertical orientation. Oh, yeah, I guess it was about to do that. Hold on a second. This is running in emulation, by the way. This is... Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, well, no, but no, no, that's, that's how the AMI, I believe that's how the AMI Android works. Um, but, it's, but this is Android. I mean, it's pal palpably Android. You can see the widgets are swamped by the screen size and, and so forth. You know what it's really great The icons for? are tiny. Yeah, <laughs> and that's why the pen is really helpful. Uh, I mean, all of that you could fix. That's, yeah. that's just because this is a pure port of AOSP Android. You even have to go out and get the Google services and the apps. You know, what's great for is gaming. Yeah, this is awesome, especially because ga game developers have to develop for an environment where you don't know what the resolution is going to be, and it could be as high as three thousand by two thousand. Right. So, so that's that's this is developed for that, and it, it actually works fairly well. You can see a little hesitation in the in the graphics display, but but not not a whole lot. The sound yeah, works. knowing that that's like a 3K screen is very impressive. Yeah, I mean they're they're pushing a lot of pixels on here. In em, as I said, in emulation, this is not, you know, going directly to the x86 architecture. Um, by the way, ARM versus x86. The nice thing, both Chromebooks and Android can run on both, so mm -hmm. I don't think that's an issue. Mm -hmm. yep. I wonder if there are issues with AOSP with the open source. Um, it certainly would help Google yeah. to be able to get away from that, right? That's, yeah. that's, that's the problem with updating is that anybody can develop a, quote, Android version. I think you right. abandon the Android. You might even abandon the Android trademark for that reason. Um, I, I had heard um, uh, internally the code name for this was Google OS. Yeah, um, that makes more sense. That's what, right? uh, yeah, it would, it would be cool. I mean, I don't know if they want to rebrand and lose, you know, all the cute little Android figures and all that, but... Um, I think if you did some kind of rebrand like that, you could definitely go to partners and say, hey, those were the Android rules, and these are the Google OS rules, and the Google OS rules say you don't get to mess with anything, and uh, and we're going to do updates. Because every new Google platform is like that. Even the new Android platforms are like that. You know, OEMs can't mess with Google TV or, uh, I mean, they can't mess with Android TV or Android Wear or Android Auto. All of that, the interface is off limits and you've got to run it and just build some hardware and right. you can preload apps on it, but that's right. it. Look how good that looks. I mean, that looks great, yeah. Um, yeah. That's pretty impressive. And, and, and what you're describing, Ron, of course, the OEMs don't like that, but users do. Users love vanilla Android. Tend to prefer Yeah, and I, th I think they, they started that to spur adoption and at this point uh the the mobile os duopoly is is yeah. so strong that yep. google could do whatever they wanted and no one can say no to them because right. there is no alternative it's not like you can go license ios and if it's not ios or android nobody's going to want it like even blackberry has fallen at this point yeah and uh there there i mentioned that because their phone's coming out next week i think oh yeah Friday? the uh priv something. the priv, the priv yeah or yep, the it's super, what a terrible it's name priv <laughs> yeah, but hey, right. the, the name is dumb, but I'm super excited about yeah. it. Look at this is Google Plus looks like Pinterest when you yeah. uh, screen that big, huh? That's that's your standard awful tablet interface for Android. Yeah, so, so Android. Very, yeah, that's the problem, right? It's not on a big screen. You get they, they nobody as you said at the very beginning, Ron. No, they, even Google doesn't support this. <laughs> yeah, I mean Android supports, like you said, it supports x86 and ARM, so that's good for for PCs. It supports uh, mouse and keyboard and gamepad. Like you can take USB stuff and plug it into Android right. and Android will figure it out and work and you'll get a mouse cursor. Uh, it's it's really impressive actually. Um, they're just going to need a whole new interface and all new apps. Um, there's actually a thing called Remix. Is it Remix OS? Um, that takes Android and kind of turns it into a desktop operating system. It's a it's a third party project. But uh, the interface is, is interesting. It, it, it kind of shows you what a a uh, windowed version of Android would look like. Yeah, and that Remix OS is at jide.com, J-I-D-E.com. Okay, yeah. So what if, um, okay, so what? So Chrome OS is this, right? It's Chrome. Yeah. Now yeah. this is Chrome running on Android, but uh, and, and you can't do most Chrome extensions on the Android version of Chrome. No extensions at all. But what if you could? Uh, how yeah. would that be significantly different? I mean, then, then now you windowed. have... Windowed. 
I mean, you don't really have a windowed uh, experience in Android right. at the moment. Unless you so had that, a Chrome extension that gave it to you. I suppose <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah well, um, but wasn't windowing in, I mean, didn't we see it in some code? Uh, oh, you're talking about multi -screen. Android M had a, a beta version of it. And they yeah, just didn't implement it, right? But that was a, that was really not appropriate for a mouse and keyboard. That was right. kind of like what's on iOS where you can, or, or Windows, uh, the tablet version of Windows, you know, you can drag apps to the side of the screen and it'll lock to, it, it's split screen, it's not windowed. There's a big difference. Right, so. right. Although that's the new thing, by the way, is yep. not, it's so funny because it brings back the debate that happened in the very earliest days of graphical user interfaces. Should we be tiled or should we be uh, uh, overlapping windows? And there was really, like, mm -hmm. battle to the death. Yeah. And uh, overlapping windows obviously won. Yep. And I feel like tiled is coming back. Both iOS and the iPad Pro is doing tiled. Um, you're seeing tiled in... And uh, OS ten really, if you do that, yeah. that new split screen thing. Yeah, and in, certainly uh, Windows has version. it with the Snap. Um, well, well, Snap will... Uh, see, I like Snap because that does... Or, or whatever the thing is on desktop. It's not yeah. overlapping, it's though. Even though you can resize it. It's still not overlapping, the, and that's the key. That's tiled versus overlapping. Right? I think what's really changed is you can't assume that anybody has a mouse anymore. Right. They, they, they may have a touchpad. Right. They may not have a touchpad. They may be on a touch interface. You don't know what people are using, but you can't say, oh, they're going to have a mouse. Right. Uh, and I think that's great. I think I think the mouse is kind of, you know, it's from the 60s. It's kind of over, and I, I think we should move on and, and have interfaces that invite touch and voice and things like that, hybrid interfaces. And I think, you know, that could be part of what Google's thinking uh, about this ground up uh, reorientation. You know, enough of the icons and the trash cans and that, that, that whole metaphor, the WIMP uh, user interface is 37, six years old, something like that. Um, I think uh, I'd like to see uh, us just completely go entirely into the, into the post PC interface. I have world. to say as bad as this is just because there was no consideration given to a giant screen like this, yep. it's still better than the touch interface on Windows. Yeah. That this that that's actually is a kind of a more sensible, uh, this is Flipboard, the Android version running on a Windows machine. Um, and it actually, uh, if you if you do touch first, I think you get some, some mm -hmm. benefits that you don't get if you take a desktop OS yeah. and you add touch. Uh, to it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know though. If you if you want to get work done, you I think you pretty much need a mouse. Just stuff like text selection well, is impossible. That's on a why I screen. love the Surface Book because it's it's it is the best of both mm -hmm. worlds. So I can reattach this and it becomes a mousing operating system. And uh, I mean I think that's kind of mm -hmm. you know I got a trackpad, I got a um, desktop, and um, I think the flexibility is appealing. Mm -hmm. um, and the and the pen and everything.